How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Project Cat. Something that serves as a bit of a teaser to a larger planned game. It's a small indie horror thing being made by a very small dev team. It's got some recent attention through Alpha Beta Gamer as well as a few YouTubers whose taste in games I typically trust. And so I thought, yeah, let's give this one a try. I think it looks really cool overall. It has like a pixel art style, but one that feels very much like its own, as you can see already. It doesn't have like an RPG maker quality or, or anything like that. And they do mix in some non-pixel art. So yeah, I, I generally am, am interested to see what they've done with this game. I've heard nothing but good things. So let's get right into it. Oh, and a very crucial thing about this game is every puzzle in the game is built to have multiple solutions which is something that's very difficult to do, and I've been told it's done very well here. Interact with the environment. It might take me a minute to get the hang of a few things since I'm using a controller and it's telling me keyboard instructions. There's a white flower on the ground. Pick, pick her up. Yeah, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take a flower with me. I, I, I would love, love one. Obtained the white flower. I have objectives as well. Currently none, of course. <laughs> but soon to be several, presumably. That looks like a nice house. Nothing wrong with it. Three green lights on the door. We're working towards the fourth, I presume. The building ahead seems locked somehow. Weird that you could perceive that. Ah, <laughs> there's the three lights. The fourth one needs to be placed of course makes sense white flower i found on the grass it appears to be a lily i think that puzzle is a bad example of the multiple solution thing because that literally seems like the only way the flower sank into the water unless that was the incorrect solution maybe i've just killed the character by doing so i was joking but there's a real possibility that that's what just happened Pity. You thought that would work. You should be more careful about the decisions you make. The solution may seem obvious, but there is always another way. Ripping out all the f other flowers. You may not notice it right away, but your actions will have an impact sooner or later. There's like weird eyeballs in the ground. You may not even remember what you did to cause it. Sadly, Regret is always in the shadow of choice. Also, you know very well this isn't your home. So why do you mess with things that don't belong to you? You're not welcome here. This isn't some silly game. Look, this is the result of your actions. The result of your expectations. Things are not always what they seem. What do you think? Does this look like a flower to you? You're not prepared to deal with the truth, are you? I can't stop you from coming, but if you're foolish enough to cross my path, I'll kill you myself. Such is the way of our world. Okay, this game roped me in so damn quickly. I wonder if right off the bat, if I could have just ripped out those flowers, if that was an option that was available to me there. Whoa. Weird dream. Is everyone gone already? Looks like it's 11. I, I should get to it. 11 at night? You certainly slept away the whole day, didn't you? That sucks that you spent all that extra time at school that you didn't have to. Ponytail girl. No, no. You moved it. I didn't, I swear. You know I hate this type of thing. Quiet girl. This can't possibly be happening. It's spelled die. The pretty girl. Man, that really sucks to know that you're ponytail girl in a room with, like, pretty girl. <laughs> At least there's no ugly girl or anything, but did it spell die? Oh my, oh no. Stop joking around. This is serious. Uh... We should not have played this. I told you we're gonna be cursed. Am I? Am I one of them? Does that mean I'm quiet girl or pretty girl? <laughs> pretty girl. 
if that's me at all. What was that? Is that a ghost? We summoned a ghost. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. You're making too much noise. It's just someone's parent, presumably. Oh, it's just Cat. Oh, I guess we're Cat? Ah, oh, look how cool we are. Very cool. Definitely the suave girl. What's with the crazy knocking? What was that for? Did that spook you? You're not supposed to be here, you know. I could, see this, could say the same about you. Why are you here? Actually, say hello to the new member of the Occult Club. I had the wonderful opportunity to meet all of the members yesterday. I don't recall seeing you there. You three are not part of the club, are you? That's funny. I didn't pin you as, of all people, as the occult type cat. It's because I'm not. Hey, we're doing something here. I'll save you the trouble. All three of you moved it. Huh? The planchette from your game. You all moved it. There's no ghost in the room. There's a simple scientific explanation. It's called idiomotor effect. Simply put, just like your body reacts to pain reflexively, it's not that different from blinking or breathing, the effect is even stronger. I don't know why it's- okay, it's, the game's just progressing through this. In other words, your mysterious answers from beyond are really just your imagination playing tricks on you. <laughs> She's just rambling off her know-how and jargon or whatever, so the game just skipped through it. I'm guessing that's kind of how everyone else in the room perceived it. Like, what the hell? Great job killing the mood. You must be fun at parties. Thanks a lot, cat. Always a pleasure. All right, time to search. Just get my notes to make sure I don't forget anything. Ooh, objective updated. Check your notes to refresh your memory. I put everything I need to remember here. I need three rooms? How do you acquire rooms? 12 candles, a lighter, a rune, a tuft of hair, chalk. Sort the desks in each classroom, turn off all the lights and draw the curtains in each classroom. Draw a path going through the three rooms. In the middle room, place one candle on each desk, light the candles and wait at least five minutes. After waiting, there's so many things, there's so many steps to all of this. Open your eyes and then who knows? Alright, so we need to search the school for the items first. The rune should be in this room. Somewhere. I already have a lighter and 12 candles. So that makes things a little simple. And there's some chalk here. Take the chalk, yes. Draw something on the chalkboard? Yes. What should I draw? Flower, self-portrait, house, a butt. Obviously, a butt. What else were you gonna draw? Was there a... What were the other options? All I saw was butt five times. It's done! <laughs> yeah, perfect. That's the most pointless thing you've done today. Well, I haven't really done much else with my day, so yeah, that's true. It's the box for the game the girls were playing. It says Ouija board for two to four players. Get answers from beyond. Warning, we take no responsibility for any adverse effects playing this game could cause to you or your loved ones. Such a disappointment, I presume. There's a book entitled Magic Circles for Simpletons. It'd be helpful to learn how to draw some. There's a book entitled The Truth Behind Mermaids Exposed and Creepy Cryptids and Where to Find Them. Hmm, suspicious news articles and posters representing magic circles. There's like a pentagram. Some small plants. Their quiet existence fascinates you. The drawer underneath is empty. The drawer won't open. A cool breeze blows in from outside. Close the window? Yes. I'm curious how much small individual things like that is going to affect the larger world. The game seems to indicate that you won't even realize immediately what effect your individual choices has. A crystal ball resting on a cushion. Now, yeah. wow, what cheap plastic exterior really makes it look authentic. And some books and jars filled with something. Cardboard boxes marked with a symbol. They're sealed with tape. The runes my friend mentioned may be in here, but I need a way to open it. I guess if I get my hand on, like, scissors, then I'd be able to cut the hair as well as opening the box. A spherical model of Earth. The typical shape that people use to represent it in three dimensions. Red crosses mark certain locations. Nothing of use. A thick purple book. Spellbook? It looks weird. It also looks fake. A 
Oh, cat, are you aware of real spellbooks out there? A trash can. It seems to be full. It's a school bag. There's something shiny inside. Do you need something? Maybe later. Do I have to distract them or something? Because it seems like I need to steal something from her bag. What are you looking at? Could I burn her? <laughs> the urge to set her on fire is strong. I shall control these impulses for now. What? What? Uh, nothing. Ignore and pretend I didn't say anything. It would be a shame to set such pretty hair on fire. <laughs> I can individually contemplate burning everyone. Nah. Alright, maybe I have to leave the room to go in search of, like, scissors or whatever. Oh, it's spooky out here. It reads, no running in the hallways. Well, nuts to you, I'm gonna run all I want. An unexciting trash can. A pinboard with some important school papers. The windows of the classroom can't see much through them. And that vaguely terrifies me. The front yard of the school is visible from here. Better stay clear of the windows or someone might see me. Ooh. <laughs> that sliding door made a, a sound that I thought was something other than a door. Alright, let's see. According to my notes, windows, close the curtains, something like this? <laughs> White chalk lines, desks, candles on each. So I just need six and six. The arrangement is not that complicated. I need to move the desks to the sides in all three classrooms. Then I can draw a path in the middle of each one with chalk. Well, I'll leave the chalk drawing for last. I want to gather everything I need first. Obtained ritual notes drawing? Should I sort the desks in this classroom? Not yet, just in case. Oh, I thought I could look around the classroom maybe. I think I'll just do it later. So I do want to peek at the objectives or the ritual notes. The ritual notes that it, okay, that's the same same thing it just showed me there. It's nice that I can revisit that. Sort the desks, shut the curtains. Maybe I do it. Maybe maybe I do a quick sort here. This should be easy. I wasn't okay. I, I do actually have to to push things around myself. Push them into the green zone zones to complete the puzzles. That's that's straightforward. Uh oh oh okay, this is actually. Much simpler, or, oh, not not what I was trying to do. <laughs> that, but having a little mini-game version of doing it is much easier than walking around the actual room. I really do like that. Anyways, this is what I'm, this is what I'm trying to achieve. Presumably this is the warm-up one. This is like the easy, simple, don't even think about it sort of uh, arrangement. Perfect. That was easy, but I do still want to like go around here. A simple trash can, its contents look trashy, as one would expect. Teacher's podium, some books and chalk. Sure, I already have enough chalk, but the more the merrier. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Seems like it would be fun to just have all the chalk. Dude, good prank. No one else has any chalk. School's canceled. Some very thick school-related books. Oh yeah, close all the curtains. That is interesting that I can I can open them back up and things though. Some classroom attendance sheets and schedules. Paper slip with rules. There's no time for rules right now. Boring textbooks. Scissors. A pair of scissors here. Take them. Yes. And geometry books. Unconcerned about basically all of that. Going and cutting the hair will be simple. Oh, but uh, so already we're starting to see uh, hints of there's multiple places to get chalk from. The small puzzles of rearranging the desks, there's not any one way that has to be done to accomplish that. Like, maybe I can get hair from any one of those girls or from like a brush somewhere else in, in the level or whatever. So I'm not sure if the final piece of a puzzle like, the final execution of how you solve it is going to be different, but, like, how you get there, how you get towards the final solution, it, there's, like, various different ways that that can unfold. A list of safety regulations, pin board with school papers. I'm, I'm just curious if I look through the windows of the classrooms if, like, I don't know, something's going to jump out at me. I'm half anticipating that. Boring trash can. What about all this? The club room. This is the theater's club room. It's locked. I don't think I need anything from here. This leads downstairs and outside the school. I should be able to find everything I need on this floor. No need to go back downstairs. 
Maybe that's stuff that would all be saved for the larger game. Front yard, that's gonna be save, the same for any of those. And again, the theater club, it's locked. So I can, I can do everything within these few rooms, presumably. I'm cutting off the ponytail. Maybe I could take it from other people, but you know, maybe if I take away your ponytail, people can come to know you for other things, like bad personality girl. Maybe that can be your thing. Not pointy enough to stab people with. Obtained girl's hair. Did you just, oh my God, what have you done? Get the hell out. Oh, am I super cut? Shit, I didn't get to open up the rune box. Well, at least I got what I needed. Not really. All right, I can sneak back in. That's fine then. <laughs> I wasn't sure if they were gonna keep me out forever. A tuft of hair I cut from the girl with brown hair. I mean, I attempted to cut it from Ponytail Girl. They're, they're, uh, most of them, half of them are brown haired. Finally, let's cut this open. Half of them including me. <laughs> There's a bunch of useless trash in here. Ah, this little box may be it. There's three ruins, but the ritual didn't mention uh, a specific one. Which should I take? The weird C, the weird B, or the weird O? I like the looks of the diamond-shaped one. Mostly because it reminds me of the little diamonds that we drew next to the butt. <laughs> so that's, that's all I'm going off of. The protective rune. Two runes left, but I only need one. I was curious if it would let me swap out if I uh, second-guessed or anything like that. Then maybe I'd be able to, to try something a bit different. Should I sort the desks? Yes. So this one's obviously going to be a little bit trickier. I'm going to have to do that to one of them regardless. And I think if I just kind of go at it systematically like this, I should be fine. I just, I kind of mispressed there. Uh, I'm hoping that I haven't screwed myself. Damn it! Pushing up against the wall it doesn't work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap to using the D-pad specifically this time, because I feel like I'm less likely to accidentally do like a diagonal thing like that and screw myself up. I was trying to see if I could diagonal through the desks. Not an option. Oh, there's a few teeny tiny little obstacles here to like make things the littlest bit more difficult for you as well. Hmm, I think I kind of want to move some of this other stuff First, like the way I was going ab about it, like if I would have just pushed one of those up next, like maybe not. I, I had I had a feeling that I could I could have gotten stuck there, but it's working. Like that, I can't push that one next. Uh, so I I can I can go around like that though. You see, you block off the direction you're trying to push it in. So that one's all done. Teacher's podium, there's a useless history book here. Trash can, you feel uninclined to dig through it. I do appreciate when a game gives unique flavor texts for individual trash cans. An unnecessary but appreciated little addition. Books and chalk, all of it. The chalk is all for me, I, I want every last bit. Happy green plant, close all the blinds. Oh, curtains are missing. According to the ritual instructions, I need to black out the rooms. Maybe the theater club has some curtains I could borrow? Attendance sheets, textbooks, geography, globe. <laughs> Give it a quick whirl just for, for funsies. And textbooks that I do not care about. Hard no, don't care. I do need access to the theater club. Presumably I can grab like um a, a key or something from somewhere in this room. I gotta shove that guy around. Didn't mean to do that. It's fine. <laughs> that, that works out still. Can't push it against the wall. Gotta avoid pushing against the wall. No pulling. Only pushing in this <laughs> series of puzzle solvings. Uh, that's an easy one. Loop around and down. Bing bang, bada boom. That's how you, that's how you set up a classroom. <laughs> Kinda rhymed. Phew! 
Well done, cat trash can. As you is usually the case with the trash cans, it's devoid of useful items. Podium, geography, book, and a globe. Some books and chalk. <laughs> Always. Every single one of them has chalk. I guess it makes sense. The teachers need to be able to write somehow, don't they? Attendance sheets, schedules, boring textbooks. Some world encyclopedias. I should definitely steal one of these. If they, I would if they weren't so darn heavy. Yeah, they fetch a, fetch a pretty penny. Some cacti? Some cute potted plants. Their silent nature enchants you. Well, I had no luck with a key. It's locked. How am I, how am I gonna open it now? Um, good question. I don't think we really have anything that would work. I don't think you can just jab scissors in there. I already have enough hair. <laughs> Trying to cut hair out of the door? That was never gonna work. Oh, the shiny thing in the girl's backpack might be the key I need. School bag, something shiny. What if I accidentally push the bag off the chair? Push it, yes. Do it, make a mess. What the? Oh, I'm so sorry, oh dear me. Let me pick it up for you. No, then rummage around and things, the theater club key. I'll be out of your hair now. What's left of your hair since I cut it all off? Sucks to be you. <laughs> theater club key unlocked. And let's see what kind of fun things they have in here. Obviously curtains, that's nice and easy. Draw the curtain, yes. Thief. A chalkboard, the word thief is written on it? I'm not sure why. Take the curtains out, yes. I mean, I guess I am stealing the curtains. Some blankets are sprawled all over the floor. Maybe I could have used those. That's fine. The curtains were just covering a chalkboard. That's a very dumb use of curtains. A table with a blank sheet of paper, poster paper, and some colored pencils. Well, if the option was there, I would have drawn a butt again. Not this time. There's really no incentive to check out the contents of the trash can. Well, you say that as someone who's never found anything worthwhile in a trash can. Who knows what could be down there? Maybe an eclair just sitting on top, above the trash can, waiting to be eaten. I hope someone knows what I'm talking about, <laughs> gets the reference. A rack with various hats and scarves, pile of neatly folded drapes. You don't need any more. I definitely could have taken those. Yep. Various makeup kits and accessories in the drawer. Some paints and brushes. I I'm, I'm, was kind of looking at the creepy guy with the little hat there. <laughs> little hat. Cardboard boxes full of neatly folded costumes. Handmade costumes hanging from the rack. <laughs> Blah, they have poor taste in colors. My first attempt there, <laughs> that was a bad blah. Oh, who, who knew I could have done that the whole time? A large pile of cardboard boxes sealed with tape. I'm cutting my way in just cause. Let's see. I'm, I'm just curious. That's a ton of useless objects in these boxes and a letter? Read it. Roses are red, violets are probably violet, my love for you sparkles like the glow of a diamond. More diamonds. Important, I guess. I watch you every day. I watch you every night. I watch you. 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 That's so creepy. The other side of the paper is filled with black scribbles. That doesn't sound right. That's so messed up. Were the black scribbles useful? Is that uh, something that... Is that like what we need to draw on with our chalk, maybe? These boxes are sealed, are not sealed. It, it, it tells you precisely what's in them. So I think I can just leave. The I'm watching you, I'm watching you, I'm watching you thing kind of has me a little bit freaked out. All right, how, how do I know where to put uh, the candles? The middle, the middle room probably is my guess. I, I, I'm certain it explained it on our list of objectives. Hang up the curtains. This should do the trick. Please nothing jump out at me. Perfect. Objectives updated. Draw a path within all three classrooms. Set and light candles in the middle room. So use the chalk. Well, my lines aren't perfect, but it should do the job. 
I need to do this in all three rooms. I'm not entirely certain what it is we're building towards. I don't like the way that the music cut out. That messes with my mind and makes me greatly concerned about what might be coming. I meant to draw the middle room last. Glass broke. Okay, don't run. No running. It must have broken behind me because there was nothing in front of me. I, uh... Guess I need to go back and check that. It might have also broken in the room where I closed the window, like the starting room where the girls were hanging out. See, nothing seems to have happened to those. It makes me think it was this room. Oh, that's horrible. The girls are gone. And open the window. Yes. Huh? I can't seem to open it. So I've sealed it shut. Perhaps I've sealed their fate while I'm at it. Maybe they're actually just... Gone. <laughs> Something came and got them. I don't know if it was one of the rooms then. That one of the three classrooms where the glass broke? Oh. This game took a turn from like cool and interesting to terrifying. Oh man, do I have to actually... Alright, I don't have to set up all 12 individually. Ooh, six and six. And we'll light them all. <sighs> okay. I wonder what would happen if I set this up in the wrong room. I don't know if the game has branching options like that. Everything's ready. All that's left is to wait five minutes. And then burn the hair. This is going to be such a pain to clean up. Do I have to wait five minutes of real time? I don't know if I need to be like setting a timer, you know, to, to wait and see what happens there. Oh, okay. Okay, We're, we'll, we'll kill five minutes with a little bit of like a, a flashback. Some reminiscing. Seriously? Stop messing with things. But everything I mess with ends up being a scam. What if someday it isn't? What if you end up summoning some ghost or the devil and condemning your soul to an eternity in the never netherworld? What if your soul is already damned? I guess that's what's waiting for me after I die. Cat? It was a joke. You're not gonna find him this way, you know? You'll just do whatever you want no matter what I say, won't you? It's possible. Stubborn idiot. I prefer ambitious idiot. So, will you let... Tell me where the letter is. You exhaust me, cat. You know that. And yet, here we are. Fine. You win. It's in the occult club. There's a golden envelope in one of the drawers, but they won't let you sniff around since you're not a member. Thanks. You're the best. And then we proceeded to become a member. Huh? Is there somebody at the door? Hello? Burn the hair. Alright, I I need to invest. Oh shit, something just ran past the window. That that wouldn't have been this room. That would be that would be this one here. So I'm investigating this classroom to see what maybe happened there. I see nothing. I'm spooked. I'm getting out of there. Oh, th these are what smashed. The window was cracked. That spooked me. And a handprint. Was this always here? Anything over on this one? Alright, so now we know the source of the cracked glass sound. I guess we're burning the hair. Uh, lighter? Where do I burn it? Ritual notes. Tell me what's up. Burn it uh, in one of the candles. Blow out all the can candles. Count to 100. Open your eyes and then... Profit? I wonder if which candle you burned it in matters. Alright. Now I just have to blow out the candles. So... Huh. The candles. I guess I should count to a hundred? One, two, 
3, 4, 28, 29, 30. Why am I doing this? This ridiculous game couldn't possibly work. 55, 56, 57. I wonder if mom is wondering where I am. Yeah, it's super late. Uh, what was that? Keep counting. 79, 80, 81. I, I would not have the ability to keep my eyes closed. What's all that noise? Is anyone here? 97, 98, 99, 100. So I open my eyes and it's like pitch black. Oh, that's a cool perspective shift. It worked. It worked. It worked. I can't believe it. This is incredible. But where am I? It's a hallway. It definitely isn't the school. This is unbelievable. How could it have worked? It doesn't make any logical sense. I, I was in the classroom a minute ago. Have I gone mad? This is so exciting. I can't believe it worked. If I wake up from this and it turns out to be a dream, well, that would be disappointing to say the least. Okay. I definitely need to check this place out. Oh, that's very cool. The art here is, is done very well. A door with an odd pattern. It's locked. I gotta go left. The impulse is to go right. So I gotta go left and see what may or may not be going on over here. Okay. What if I don't want to climb the stairs? Yeah, walk through all the trash. A large amount of a black substance has accumulated under the stairs. This stuff makes me uneasy. What if it comes alive or something? Put that out of your mind. Ignore it. Pretend it's not there. A door with a glossy finish. It's locked. I'm going to stay on this bottom level for now. Very ornate door. It's locked. Small door. Odd pattern. Gross. Black substance drips down from above. Whatever it is, it looks disgusting. A door with an odd pattern. It's very locked. The piping here is ridiculous. Nonsensical pipes run all over the place. They're warm to the touch. Is this some sort of heating? Oh, am I looping? That would be really great for me. Because I didn't want to have to backtrack all the way back there again. A door with an odd pattern. Oh shit, that's a door. It made it look like a hallway going, going down. Uh, it's locked, so it's also something I can't access. Oh god. I didn't notice till that time just then that there was those red eyes, and now they're gone. They were only there the once. Are you kidding me? That's messed up. <sighs> a door with a glossy finish. Well, open it if you can. I, I, I don't... Protective rune? I wonder what would have happened if I had a different rune, honestly. That might have saved me. I might have selected, like, the correct one. Black substance dripping down. Where is all this stuff coming from? A fairly normal looking door. But it is also locked. Same as every other damn door. Then I think I've done just about everything I can. <laughs> I just continue walking loops and hoping something opens up. That's strange. Have I already passed through here? I think it's just a circular room. Maybe not. Maybe it's a long hallway in either direction and it's just looping. I have. Hmm. There must be something I missed. Well, there's a lot of goop. And there's eyes under those stairs. Door with an odd pattern. Can I torch the black substance? Not what I meant to do. Torch. Not. Not the case. Is the pipe telling me something? Is that like... Does that have anything to do with... Like, I can't, I can't walk circles around this place. I can literally just go in one direction here. Ah, it appears to have stopped looping properly. And now I'm just in an endless section. I don't want to break the pattern. I want to keep pushing it. Um... Am I lost? I don't remember this hallway being so long before. Oh, there's a key hanging from a hook. Yes. 
the fairly normal looking key. Presumably for the fairly normal looking door. I could try. I could try it in one of these other doors, but I'm going to go ahead and assume it does not interact. The door has no keyhole. The glossy door? Presumably no keyhole. So, fairly normal looking door it is. The one that will obviously have nothing spooky behind it. Safe and sound. The key fits. Huh. What's this? Am I back at the school already? A paper slip with some rules and regulations. No running, no screaming, no escaping. Ever. What happens if I run? What are you going to do about it? Classroom 4A. It's too dark to see anything on the other side. Too dark, too dark, too dark. Oh no, I'm stuck in some sort of weird loop. <laughs> okay, luckily that broke free. 56W. Uh, let's have some fun, shall we? Entertain me for a while, and in return you get nothing. Oh god. Now I'm scared to run. Now I'm I see you, obviously. Oh. Just like put his hand on the wall there. It's too dark to see anything. Well, I see a little bit of something. I'll tell you that. Do you even know where you are? You chose a one-way trip to hell, kid. Well, could it be a one-way trip to hell and back? Is that an option? Is that how that works? There was nothing there. That's weirder and more tension building than there actually being a thing. You didn't think this far. Now that you can prove that these rituals work, you have no way of going back to tell anyone. The knowledge will die with you. How many others have gone through this and taken this knowledge with them into whatever this like other world is? Are you lost? Somewhat, I would say, yes, that's a fairly apt summary of, of what's going on. <sighs> the music is really fucking good in this game. You should give up. You'll never leave this place. Hmm, but perhaps if I go back this way, <laughs> then maybe I can leave. If I just carry on, holy shit. Yeah, that's a that's an appropriate response, I'd say. Your mother will be devastated to learn that she's now completely alone. No husband, no daughter. Everybody left her. How pitiful. Who is this creepy asshole who's taunting us? You couldn't tell your father goodbye back then, and now you won't get to tell your mother goodbye either. Ooh. Rebuilding in a bit of lore. Maybe that's why Cat kind of acts out a little bit. What if I told you that someone you know is in here with you? Would that make you hopeful? Relieved? Dad, maybe? I know what you're thinking. Then I can escape with them. These rituals have no way back. They were never designed that way. What are these weird changing tiles? They look like a, a kitchen or bathroom or something. After all, why would you give your prey an escape? Oh, one of these fuckers is going to jump out at me. <laughs> run, run. <laughs> I don't feel like sticking around. And here you are, a poor little lab mouse stuck in a maze. You only have until I decide I'm done playing around with you. And then, snap. The changes in, in, like, the font are cool as well. It's a simple, simple little tool, but effective. Oh, God, they're just blinking around the room. What the sh... It is going on. Hey, we're starting to walk in a spiral, kind of like those pipes were set up in that, in that other room. Perhaps that's what it was hinting towards. So many long, endless hallways. Maybe, maybe we're in, like, a laboratory setting? I can't really tell what, where that end, ended up. How would you like to stay trapped in here until you die? Not at all. Uh, zero. 
if it comes down to like I'm supposed to quantify it in some way, my answer is no. I would not like that. Do you like it? I think it's just what you need. No. <laughs> Perhaps if I panickedly run around enough, they'll get they'll they'll feel bad for me. Maybe now you'll reflect on the stupidity of your actions. Okay, I've reflected. I've reflected. It was stupid. I've made bad decisions. I'm an impulsive and uh, irrational, and I, you should let me out. In the meantime, I'll just watch you rot away. Shut up. That's enough. Whoever you are, get out of my head. My life is my business. My decisions are mine alone. Let me out of this place. I know there's a way out. There has to be. Please. There must be a way out. I want to go home. Well, that's the start. <laughs> Doesn't quite get us out. Oh god, she looks petrified. I'm out. But I'm still in this hallway. I, I don't like this. I need to get out of here. Objective update? Get the hell out. Yeah, escape this cursed place. You're still not allowed to run in this particular area. I what, what more could I do? What other options am I going to have, you know, if nothing has, if everything's locked and nothing has keyholes or, or anything? Uh, <laughs> this door is open. Wasn't it boarded up? Everything else is locked. I, I have no choice but to go in. Oh, good. Oh. Okay, there is a wall there. I was kind of curious what the limits were, what, like, the extent was that you can walk. I guess I follow the bloody trail, then, if that is literally the only option available to me. Oh, God. Ponytail girl. A beheaded corpse. That can't be. How is this possible? I just saw her a while ago. I don't understand. I don't know which way to go. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> oh. A bloody corpse. No, 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 no. Oh my god. This can't be real. It's not real. Right? Did we do this? Did we, like, open up the possibility? Maybe the Ouija board was legit. The lower half is missing. And her eye? Oh, is, did something just shine in the eye socket? I, I... This is my fault. Maybe, maybe I'm seeing things now. Jesus Christ. A welcoming door. It's locked. I have to. I have to get out. Oh, the door. I can leave? I can go home? I mean, that's the way it wants you to go. I don't know if I particularly personally recommend it. It's not going to show us what's on the other side of that door, is it? I don't want to die. Gross. Yeah. Yep. Well, the pair of them who tackled this game together have done a fantastic job so far. That was, uh, that was something else. Giving a little wave to friends and family. That was so worth it. That was so cool. I'm so interested to see where the larger game is going. Note from the developers, we really appreciate you taking the time to play our little game. It means the world to us. What you have played is the prologue of a larger project we're currently working on. We would love to be able to bring it, be able to bring it to life as well but this highly depends on your feedback we get for Project Cat. I know it's annoying to ask, but it would help us a lot if you could leave a comment or rate the game on itch. I'll absolutely have a link to that down below. It's totally free, so you can play it for yourself, but even, even if you just go off of this playthrough, then be sure to go rate, leave a comment, let them know what you think about everything. It really is going to do a lot for them for pursuing the larger project, which I absolutely want to see. I absolutely want to know what the larger project is. I simply wanted to continue to see where it dropped me off. I knew the game auto-saved, but, like, uh, I just wanted to see, like, maybe there was an extra little secret 
or something if, if you chose to continue. Like, that the game would put you in some after thing, like some post credit sequence or something. Thought it was worth checking. Nothing like that. This is incredible. I'm so thrilled about it. I hope you guys are too. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I might have to play around with the game on my own to see in what ways you can affect this demo. I think there's only the one ending, but maybe like closing windows, not closing windows, using different chalk, doing things in different order. I'm curious. If, if there's enough substantial ways that you can play around with this demo and alter things and affect things, then I'll make a little like secrets and other alternate things video. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it all shapes up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.